up everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is barbara and it's absolutely fabulous meeting you today tile i'm going to be dispelling the top 10 things that i wish somebody would have told me before i went to varsity because wow wow barbara moachi afrikaans 92 percent English 87%, Mathematics 89%, Physical Sciences 93%, alright, life orientation, it doesn't matter. First things first, before you even step into the gates of your res, please tear up your report. So don't tear it up physically, but like, tear it up in your mind, like, remove every distinction that you received, every accolade that you've had as a member of the top 10 for the whole of my life until I got to varsity. I urge you, ma'am, sir, to tear up that report because in university, it's not about the marks, it's about learning. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is not me trying to throw negativity. This is not me trying to scare you. This is me trying to be very frank with you because I feel like I needed more people to be as frank with me as I am being with you right now. It feels like a lot of the threats that people make about you're going to fail, it's going to be difficult, it's going to be that doesn't apply to you because you did so well in high school. But I promise you that there are a lot of things that you can learn. There are a lot of areas that you can grow and if you go with the attitude of they're not talking to me doesn't apply to me then you are going to be not the way you thought you would be so make sure that you are open-minded make sure that you take advice from people but still with a pinch of salt because i mean you serve a living guy you know what i mean impossible things can happen but for the most part make sure that you are willing to consult make sure that you're not doing it alone that you are using the tutors that the university provides that you're using the lectures that you're emailing them questioning them preparing for your lectures just doing the most that you absolutely can study like you are the kid that you were not in high school. Study like you were that kid that needed to work extra hard to get there. And when you do study, don't study with the aim of, I'm studying because I want 100%. No, study because you want to learn. Study because it's your passion. Study because study because you, you are a scholar at heart. You understand what I'm saying? The second thing, motivation for university comes from within. You need to be self-motivated the entire time. So make sure that when you're studying the degree, don't study it because it's something that's going to give you money. Please, don't do it. <laughs> Unless money is a very, very, very big motivator. Money that you don't have, money that you can't see, money that is far away from you. Unless that really motivates you, go ahead, do what you want to do. But if it's not something that you are passionate about and that if you had to lose your arm tomorrow to continue studying that thing, you would study it. Consult God. <laughs> Academic group chats are the devil. This is probably like one of the most important points that I could ever make. Don't enter the academic group chat. Don't do it. If you want to be peaceful, if you want to sleep at night, if you want to wake up in the morning with the love of God and the joy of the Lord in your heart, don't enter an academic group chat because that thing will rob you of your peace. It will rob you of your joy. I'm talking anxiety, stress, depression, anything that, that comes with negativity, you name it, it's inside that group chat. And the thing with academic group chat, that ties in with my fourth point, don't fall behind, is that you will get to a place where there's an easy module or a very difficult module that requires a lot from you. And so because you're trying to balance all of these new modules and all of the responsibilities of this new life that you found now you're trying to like you know sort of meet the deadlines and you're not really meeting the deadlines so if someone's posting answers in the academic group chat and so you just take those answers and paste them because i mean next week you're gonna you're gonna catch up right next week you're gonna do better but next week never comes babes next week show me next week if you can hold next week with your hand then you can enter an academic group chat and that's all i'm gonna say Okay, so it's about to get a bit fun. This one is for all of my grown-ish stands. I'm talking Zoe Johnson, aka Yara Shahidi, aka that girl is a liar. Block her on Instagram. Big disclaimer, it's just a joke. I absolutely adore Yara. She's fabulous. She dresses fabulously, speaks fabulously, looks fabulous all the time. And is going to be the president of the United States of America one day. So do follow Yara. She's a great inspiration for our generation. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Because grownish, guys, is not an accurate representation of what happens at university. I remember getting to varsity thinking, wow, me and my best friend are going to be roommates. Me and my best friend are going to be roommates. Me and my roommate are going to be best friend. Which, I mean, after a couple of roommate changes did happen. 
but initially that was not the case my roommates and i could not coexist whatsoever and so you realize also that people people are not the same people are not the same some people think it's okay to enter the toilet stall when you're going inside the toilet stall some people think it's okay to hop in the shower with you when you're hopping in the shower it's not camp guys this is varsity and that's the thing about res if you are going to res please don't get into camp mode don't get excited by all the first year activities that you have to do that you forget that actually girls we are here for a serious thing make friends have fun enjoy yourself while it lasts but make sure that when it's time to work don't get confused don't get confused okay so the next one is a bit of a sensitive topic um but it's an important topic and it's something that needs to be addressed at tax for example i only have the context of university of Pretoria because that's where i go to school um but basically they give you an admin number based on the year that you attend school that you enroll for school so for me i started first year in 2019 so my admin number starts with one nine if you start your first year in 2020 your admin number starts with two zero if you start your first year in 20 you get the point you get what i'm saying so if you're sitting in a lecture hall and you're doing group work for some odd reason and the person next to you's admin number starts with one five mind your own business don't ask questions don't look down upon that person don't think that they are stupid because when you are older you will understand that it is understandable <laughs> you know it is understandable so whether people look like they're old enough to be your father's mother's sister's brother's dogs in the class don't mind a business carry on with your life okay again another one for my raised kids your meal account is not forever Yes, they put 15,000 rand in your account. Yes, 15,000 rand is a lot of money, but 15,000 rand is not 2 million. Food is 2 million. Let me give an example. Anyone in the comment section, please help these kids understand. When you're in varsity, you realize that bread is 5,000 rand. Toothpaste, guys, is the most expensive thing that I've ever seen in my... There was even a... I'm joking. There was never a point where I considered not having toothpaste, but... But... Cherish that meal account. Hmm? eat eat like you eat man don't don't get excited for lasagna steak the things because now you're not eating papa and gomas because if you don't if you don't discipline yourself if you don't discipline that stomach of yours first of all your genes are not gonna fit you second of all you are going to be eating wheat beaks and water just wheat beaks and water because when your mother bought you wheat beaks in the beginning of the year and you were saying mama i don't need wheat beaks i don't even like wheat beaks you realize in december january march that you need that wheat beaks and that wheat beaks is your life amen this one sounds like i'm talking rubbish but believe me when i say pick your friends wisely pick your friends very wisely because if your friends would rather opt for a coffee date over attending a lecture if the majority of your friend group would rather do something that is when the education is saying I'm not your mom I'm not gonna tell you what to do but personally if you ever hear the words continual assessment you must understand that that module requires you to be continual like you need to be continuing every day continuing you need to prepare for those lectures or else you're going to be a papai in the lecture hall and be confused because that's the thing about varsity is that they assume that you know a lot of things so take me for example studying engineering and we got there and there's this concept in maths if you did caps i don't know what caps looks like right now but when i was doing caps we didn't have we had differentiation but we didn't have integration we didn't have calculus calculus plus plus do you understand what i'm saying so for a lot of the kids who come from other schools i don't know what it's what what happened in their schools but i know that whatever they taught them they taught them the things that they were teaching us there so if you're not going to prepare for your lectures as a child who did caps then you will only be playing yourself because you're going to feel like you're foolish when the other kids are sitting there talking about ma'am isn't the correct answer to make the integration the integral of the derivative of the modulus of the just prepare for your lectures you're not doing anyone a favor by preparing for those lectures you are doing what you are required to do it's not extra the lecturer doesn't know you the lecturer doesn't understand your circumstances the lecturer is just do you understand what i'm saying the lecturer is is, is the horse pipe and the education is the water but it's your job to open your mouth and receive that water otherwise god bless you and the very last thing is to make sure that you have some sort of outlet some sort of release 
from everything that's happening in university obviously in moderation obviously in wisdom in your planning but for me for example i'm christian and so my priority was always my relationship with god because if my relationship with god was on the rocks best believe that those suicides those depressions those everything that was happening to every other kid could have fully been me but it wasn't because i had that outlet and i had something that was sustaining me and holding me steady if you're moving from a different city and going to another city then make sure that you find yourself a church where you can grow a church where you can be stable and steady half of the people that are on my channel are university students and they will tell you that church has been one of the biggest rocks for them throughout this process because without a child i don't know i don't have reference for anything else i can't tell you what will happen if you if you don't do it i'm not also trying to instill fear but everyone has a way of dealing with it but make sure that the way that you deal with it is healthy and it's productive and it's conducive for excellence and greatness and precision and progression <laughs> does that make sense all right cool make sure that you drop down any questions that you have feel free to dm me about any videos that you want me to unpack because i don't want you to go inside here feeling like you've been bamboozled hoodwinked and outright i forgot what the rest of the news is but that thing <laughs> ciao a very big shout out to you for making it to the end of the video be sure to leave a comment ask questions and you just might be the next episode's comment winner but for now enjoy the suggested video